from Crestview High School. Tonight, it's volleyball action, the start of the Northwest Conference. Jeff Oberholzer along with Jay Bowen. Dave, this should be a good one between Lincoln View and Crestview. Jeff, great to be your wingman this evening, and you're right, whenever Crestview and Lincoln View get together, it's a good old good one. County rivals, they compete in everything and anything. These kids know each other. Uh, they go to the fair together and uh, have projects together there. They just know each other and they want to compete against each other and they want the upper hand whenever they uh, get on the court, the field, whatever the case may be. And we got another addition tonight, volleyball style. And you're looking at teams going in uh, each way right now. Crestview has won three in a row. But Lincoln View has lost three in a row. That's the case right now. But this Lincoln View squad, you can't take them lightly. Six and three overall against Crestview's five and one overall. As you said, we're opening league play tonight. It's always important to get that first one if you have a design of winning a conference championship. All right, for Lincoln View, starting at the left front position will be number 20. That's Kaylin Gerald. Also, number 12 starts in the middle of the front row. That's Kara Seaver. And at the right front position will be Brooklyn Byrne. Back line for Lincoln View will be Emma Bowersock at the left backer's position. Middle of the back row will be Beth Hughes. And also at the right backer's position, number 16, Ashlyn Price. Now their libero is number 17, Allie Miller. And for Crestview, they will start at left front position, number five, Maya Etzler, middle of the front row. And that will be for Crestview. And that will be Casey Gregory. And at the right front position, number 12. And that will be Adlin Fickley. The back line will be number 23, Josie Colwicky. Middle of the back row, number three, Callie Gregory. And number 21, Allie McCoy, and the libero is number eight, which is Ellie Kine. And right off the bat, there is a point for Crestview to start this one out. Yeah, Casey Gregory, the freshman in the starting lineup for the Knights, comes away with the kill. Two seniors for Crestview and Maya Etzler and Kelly Gregory. This Lancer squad, no seniors on the roster. They are young and getting better every night out. Crestview tipping it over and in on the kill is Casey Gregory. Yeah, she goes hard on the first point. That time she throws the change up, Jeff, and gets the kill with the soft toss over the net. Addie Figley behind the line. Line drive serve. Playing it right at the net, but into the net is Lincoln View. That'll be point number two for Crestview. And with that whistle, let's share our officials tonight, Jeff. On the ladder, Steve Trout. On the floor, Dan Cook. Our line judges, Kent McClure and Mary Alvarez. Yeah, I was told before this match started, they are called referees. That was hit long out of bounds by Lincoln View by Ashland Price. So now it's three to nothing. So they call it R1 in up in the top part near the net, and then R2 down on the lower part of the, on the other side, as you can see. And Lincoln View right now having a hard time getting it over the net. Kennedy Kreider with the block, the height that Crestview possesses showing itself right there. Five to zero, your score. Crestview gets a point here, and Janan uh, Evans will need to be thinking about a timeout. Nice at that time, but blocked at the net and goes out of bounds off of Lincoln View. And we're at six to nothing, and we have a timeout for the Lincoln View Lancers. Right away, it's six nothing. Crestview with the lead. We're back with more on WOSN. Scoreboard is brought to you by Lonnox Jewelry, your family-owned and operated jeweler for over 70 years. Visit them at 1244 South Shannon Street in Van Wert or online at Lonnox.com. Good timeout right there by Coach Evans and Lincoln View. Try and stem the tide here early on as Crestview comes out scoring points. These Lancers, they're a scrappy bunch. Got to find their way onto the scoreboard right here. This one hit long out of bounds. 
by Bowersock, or actually 16, that's Price. Yeah, she's the second leader, leading kill artist for the Lancers, but that time just long. Point four, Crestview. Quick set, and hitting it over for the kill is Maya Etzler. Maya Etzler and Callie Gregory working together there. They're on the same page without saying a word to each other. The short set, Etzler pushes it down right at the 10-foot line. All right, now fifth-ranked Crestview leading eight to nothing here in set one. That time, Lincoln View gets it over the net. Back over by Lincoln View and a quick, oh, they tried to get Bowersock sleeping at the back line. It did not, A good dig that time. Good volley all the way around yes. right here, Jeff. And that's hit long out of bounds. Yeah. Good attack right there by Lincoln View's number 11, Brooklyn Byrne. But unfortunately, long again, the lead increases to 9-0. That one hits the top of the net and in on the Crestview side. And that took a short hit by Kara Seaver to get that done. Any way you can get it right now, Kara maybe mishit that just a little bit, but when it goes down the line and falls in, like they say in the scorebook, it looks like a base hit. <laughs> it all counts. You'll take it. It's a kill for Kara, and Lincoln View gets the serve. Service by Bricker. And too many hits for Lincoln View. We'll give another point to Crestview. It's now 10-1. Casey Gregory, the freshman, behind the serving line for the Lady Knights. Crestview played Parkway last night, fell in the first set to the Panthers, and then won the next three. It's like they are coming out right now and taking no prisoners with the 11 to 1 lead. Lincoln View, on the other hand, they played state ranked New Bremen, fell 3 to 0. So from the frying pan to the fire mm -hmm. for the Lancers, New Bremen to Crestview, Monday to Tuesday night. That's a tough road to hoe, and right now we're seeing it come into play as Crestview increases the lead to 12 to 1. A Bauer sock. Had one go away, and then the net last hit also went out of bounds. And back up, Bowersock hits it long again. I like the way Lincoln View's hitting the ball mm. hard, Jeff. It's just unfortunate that they're long. Crestview unable to get a block, and Coach Evans, she's going to take her second time out of the set. Well, set one, 13 to one. Crestview with the lead over Lincoln View here at Crestview at Convoy, Ohio. We'll have more on WOSN. Just a reminder, there's no admission fee to watch this game, but there is a cost for us to broadcast. Say thanks to viewer-supported TV44 by sending a financial gift. TV44 relies on the donations of viewers to enable airing this game and other locally produced programs. Donate now at WTLW.com and click Donate. 13 to 1, Crestview opening up that big lead, and they continue to serve here in set one. Ball is tipped, saved, and free ball back over by Crestview. This time, it was Bowersock, put it right down the line and off of Gregory. Yeah, Emma Bowersock, nice kill down the line. She leads Lincoln View and kills 87 of them coming into this match. The 5'9 junior puts it on display right there, point for the Lancers. And some miscommunication between Gregory and Atzler. The ball drops, and it's a point for Lincoln View. And that's the kind of air that you have to eliminate as you go through the season. This is match number seven for Crestview, but they give the point to the Lancers right there. Lincoln View, great effort. They try to keep that going and keep it up. You're right, outstanding hustle there by Allie Miller. The libero gets a couple hits on it, but unable to get it across the net in the legal touches of three. Crestview gets the point. My Etzler with the jump serve. The pass and the tip over by Bowersock. 
Coming right back is Crestview, and it's just out beyond the inline point Lincoln View. Callie Gregory goes long there. Callie Gregory, the leading killer for Crestview with 70 on the year. She is also the leader in assists with 94. Plays both positions very well. Boy, it's saved by Crestview on that one. That was almost an ace serve. But Crestview tips it back over, and that time, Haley McCoy could not corral it. Goes underneath the net. Point, Crestview. Yeah, another Our strong point. Lincoln, yeah, another strong point for the Lancers. They cut the lead to nine, 14 to five. A little bit of momentum switch here, Jeff. Let's uh -huh. see if the Lancers can ride it here in this set. And a quick win right there by Callie Gregory. Yeah, Callie Gregory says, "Here's your momentum. Eight ball, <laughs> corner pocket." That time, Lincoln View uh, had a 4-0 run. Yes, so that 4-0 run, and then Callie Gregory, as we said, comes away with the kill. Josie Kowicki, the leading server, server percentage-wise for the Knights behind the serving line right there. And Callie Gregory is going to get the stuff block off of the errant pass from the defense for Lincoln View. Josie Kowicki, as I said, leading server at 96.5% for Crestview. And easily over the net, Bowersock is into the net. That will give a point to Crestview. They lead 17-5 here Emma, in set number yeah. one. Emma Bowersock, you, you want to go to her right here. Just got to have a little bit of a better set. Got her into the net there a little bit, and that was the air. Give the point to the Knights. Double block. And off of... Ashlyn Price, who had it blocked and then back off of her again and out of bounds. So again, a point, Crestview. Yeah, Crestview's height at the net showing itself a little bit with Gregory, McCoy, and Figley up there right now. Maya Etzler not even in the match at this particular point in time. The 6'2 senior going to Ashland to continue her volleyball career. And Josie Kowicki with an ace serve. 19 to 5. Crestview with the lead. Double block, and it goes off the block of McCoy, and that will be a point for Lincoln View. And I believe that was number 16 for the Lancers. Ashlyn Price with the kill. So a long serve that time, and it goes out of bounds for Bowersock. So a point, Crestview 20 to 6. So right now, if you're Coach Evans, you're just trying to, to stem that momentum as you prepare for set two. That's the neat thing about volleyball. You start all over. It's not quarter to quarter. May not be able to pick up this set, but let's try and neutralize these lady knights and get ourselves in position to get set two. And Casey Gregory hits it long out of bounds. A point, Lincoln View. But it's all about the momentum it when sure you get is. into volleyball. It sure is. Such a game of momentum. And right now, again, even though they're down 13, Lincoln View has stemmed that a little bit. But they go into the net right there. That's going to cost them a point. Ellie Klein will continue to serve for the Lady Knights. She is the second leading server percentage-wise for Crestview at 92% success rate, the junior. And that's an ace serve. And, of course, she's actually wearing the red jersey, which is the libero jersey. Yeah, she cleans things up back there. She's a great libero. We're seeing the same thing from Lincoln View's libero, Allie Miller. They do a great job of covering that back row. Quick pass, and Etzler jumped too soon. and It's a timing play, yeah. Jeff. It's a timing play, but I like it. You know, those are airs that you can live with because you're trying to be aggressive offensively. And no, the Lady Knights don't come up with a point there, but that's something that if they can master, it makes them that much more lethal. And this one hit. Apparently it was touched at the top of the net. Yep, touched at the net. We've got an outstanding officiating crew here, as we mentioned earlier. They're gonna be all over. So back to serve for Crestview is Pigley. They need to get it over, and they will not. That was the fourth hit. It's a tough situation right there for the Lady Lancers. It always starts with the pass from that back row up to the setter. They were unable to execute that successfully. Point for the Knights. There's a better one. 
There's set point, and it goes off the block of Kreider, out of bounds, so it will be a point for Lincoln View. Yeah, give the kill to Brooklyn Byrne, does a nice job attacking the net with that kill, going through the block a little bit, and it goes out of bounds. Quick set, and the spike, the kill, match, set point. Lethal weapon right there, that short set in high school volleyball, you don't see it very often, you see it there for the set, point and Crestview takes it 25 to 9 Jeff. Lodix Jewelry scoreboard sponsor set one it goes to Crestview we're back with set two coming up on WOSN. Back here at Crestview on the Lodix Jewelry scoreboard and uh, set number one going to Crestview. High score 25 to nine. Nine service points for Adeline Figley for Crestview and four for Josie Kowicki and three kills for Callie Gregory. Yeah, the Crestview did a nice job of compiling the stats in that first set. If you're Coach Evans right now, you're talking to your team about, we need to just really come out and be more intense at the beginning of this set. They were down six to zero, and for all intents and purposes, as history looks back at set number one, it was over then because then they called timeout. Crestview goes up 13 to one after the timeout. Again, the neat thing about volleyball, Let's put that behind us, ladies. It's all zero to zero again. Let's look to be aggressive right away. We've taken their best shot in set number one. Now let's start pecking away and let's let's put forth that effort that I know that you have out there and let's give these lady knights a challenge. We're so glad you're watching uh, high school volleyball here on WOSN. I'm Jeff Overholzer along with Dave Bowen. The producer and camera is Kelsey Beimer. And the editor and sports director is Nick Fraley. And special thanks also to athletic director here at Crestview, Austin Fleming. The Crestview with the serve to begin set two. Bowersock this time, but right inside the red line for the back line, and Lincoln View leads 1-0. A great kill from the back row for Bowersock. As we said in set number one, she leads this Lincoln View squad in kills, puts it on display there. The Lady Knights thought it was out of bounds. It wasn't. Lincoln View gets that all-important first point of the set. And this block goes out of bounds off of Burn of Lincoln View, so now we're tied at one apiece. Great attempt there on the block. Addie Figley with the power kill, but it goes out of bounds. Give Crestview the point, put Figley behind the serving line where she does not get it across Two. the net. Net Gives serve. Lincoln View the point, yep. Two to one Lincoln View. Going back to serve for the Lancers is Grace Bricker, Jr. You mentioned Grace as a junior, this Lincoln View squad, no seniors on the roster. They are young, good. That's a quick set and kill for Maya Atzler. So you see Callie Gregory in the setting position. You see her in the hitting position. Emily Lickley rotates in now for Crestview. She'll go to setter, which then pushes Callie Gregory out to the outside hitting position. A plethora of riches to be that versatile. And Bowersock trying to go across the net to the opposite side, and it goes back on the Lincoln View side. So a point, Crestview, 3-2. Yeah, Coach Tammy Gregory has done a lot of adjusting with this squad. But there's or Casey Gregory goes long. Give the point to the Lancer. So we're 3-3, three three, a much better start. Coach Evans has got to be thrilled with where her team's at right now, looking to compete here in set number two. And this one's a cross-court shot out of bounds by Etzler. And now it's 4-3, Lincoln View. Etzler in the outside hitting position. We usually see her at the middle, but there on the outside hit. She can wind it up and crank it. That time goes long, though. The opposite side splits the two defenders at the back by Callie Gregory for another kill. For all. Lincoln View looking to get in that blocking position 
but Gregory goes up and over it. They are young good, as we said. A couple of freshmen at the net in Brooklyn Byrne and Kara Seaver unable to come up with it there on that time on that play. And Crestview comes right back with an ace serve by Maya Etzler. Her first point of the night. The Lancers, you want to just hang around right now. Get yourself in a position where maybe you're at 20s each and Put some pressure on these ladies. Oh, nice nuts. hit. Yes, great hit right there by number 18, Emma Bowersock. You want to go to your horse, proverbially speaking, in this situation, Jeff. And the Lancers are doing that, and Emma Bowersock is responding in a po positive fashion for her team. Caitlin Gerald is back to serve for Lincoln View. Sort of toward the back line, a free ball over the net by Ellie Klein. Power sock back over the net. And Klein saves it for Crestview. Good play. Over to Bower Sock. Cross court. The shot is in. But that's what a solid team does right there. Crestview was scrambling. Casey Gregory at the at the stands gets it back in and Klein gets it across. But the Lancers take advantage of the Knights out of position. Give another kill for Bower Sock. Lodox Jewelry scoreboard. It is now six to six. That serve is long out of bounds by Gerald. And that's what's tough in volleyball. You want your servers to put some heat on the volleyball, but you got to get it in. And right there, Lincoln View put some pressure on the Knights, but they opened the door with the miscue from the serving line. Wicky with a serve for Crestview. Power stock from the opposite side and gets the kill off of. Casey Gregory, just so impressed with Emma Bowersock, A, with her hitting ability, and B, with the Lancer setters saying, let's go to her, which they have done effectively here in set number two. Seven to six, and now seven to seven. It's Bowersock would serve that one out of bounds. It's the proverbial shooting yourself in the foot right now. The Lancers are fighting for their points, but their last two serves have been aired out of bounds. Custody picking up the points. Much, much better for Lincoln View here in set number two. Even though that one went out of bounds off of Gerald. Absolutely, the, the effort not that the effort wasn't there in right. set number one, just Crestview blitzkrieg them early on. They are competing with intensity right now. Block at the net and right back over on the head by Price. And you can play it off of <laughs> the carom off of the top Raptors, but that one was ricocheted so quickly he didn't have time to react yeah Addie figley hits it hard when Addie figley has the ability to really step into the kill she gets a lot of velocity on the volleyball good volley this time between the two schools and finding the corner on the head by callie gregory callie gregory just seems to have such great vision and mental acuity. She is able to find those holes in the back row of the opposition. She does so right there. That's an ace serve off of Beth Hughes. So right now, the Lancers are in that danger zone. If you want to go Kenny Loggins and a little top <laughs> gun, Jeff, they have, they give up a point here. I think Coach Evans has got to think about a timeout. And that's a carry. It's a lift, you're right. I like the idea, though. And Coach Evans is going to take that timeout. A good call on her part. Rally the troops right here in the middle of set two. Lodox Jewelry scoreboard in set number two, 12-7. Crestview with a lead over Lincoln View. Back with more Ohio volleyball on WOSN. Back here at Crestview, Lodox Jewelry scoreboard, 12 to 7, Crestview with the lead. Lodox Jewelry, your family owned and operated jeweler for over 70 years. Visit them at 1244 South Shannon Street in Van Wert or online at lodox.com. And sometimes when you take the time out, the momentum starts to switch a little bit, and that's exactly what 
Lincoln View is hoping, and that is long out of bounds by Figley. Addie Figley overcooks it a little bit, hits our line judge, Mary Alvarez. She takes the brunt of that blow on the leg, but it's Lancer point, Lancer serve. That was a great pass by Gregory to Gregory. Yes, yeah, sister to sister, and Casey, the 5'5 freshman, gets up in the air and pounds it down the line. Makes the lead 13 to eight with the libero, Ellie Klein behind the service line. And miscommunication between Ashlyn Price and the libero, Allie Miller, and that's an ace serve. You obviously want your team to be on the same page, but even in that situation, you'd rather have two than none going after it. And they'll figure that out as we continue to play. That one is hit long out of bounds, although they're saying it's tipped at the net. Yep. So point Lincoln View. Good call there by the officiating crew. Steve Trout on the ladder makes it 14 to nine. And right here would be a great opportunity for these Lancers to get a couple points, dig themselves back in to hit in this set number two. Blocked and right back at Crestview on the hit. By Figley, a nice block and kill that time from Lincoln View. Yeah, Brooklyn Byrne with the block at the net does a great job. The freshman was excited and rightly so. And that one is into the net. So that gives a point to Crestview. It's 15 10 here in set two. Going to call a double hit there yep. on the set. Point goes to the Lady Knights. Lincoln View a much better showing mm -hmm. here in set number two, regardless of what the outcome of, is of this set. They've got to be pleased with how they have competed here. Block, save, nice play. Can they get it over? Yes, Bowersock. Good play by the libero. And then it goes off of Libero. Allie Miller on the spike and kill. Yeah, great play by both Liberos. Again, Allie Miller, number 17 for Lincoln View. Ellie Klein for Crestview in the red shirt. Those girls, I'm a Chevy guy, but they are both built Ford <laughs> tough, Jeff. Getting after it, covering a lot of ground for their respective teams. There's a reason why they have a different colored jersey on, and it's on full display here tonight at the Ray Epsler Gymnasium. Emily Lickley will check in for Crestview, and going out will be Adeline Figley. It's back to serve for Lincoln View as Grace Brooker. It's 17 to 11. Crestview here in set two. Crestview already won set one, 25 to nine. It has been different here in the second set, and keeping it alive was Ella Elling, and then it went off of a couple of. Crestview players for the point. Yeah, maybe not exactly what Lincoln View wanted when it came back across the net, but the fortuitous bounce goes their way and they get the point, take advantage of it. Lily Best in the match now for Crestview with the hit right there. And the spike and kill by Emma Bowersock. And if you're Crestview, you don't want to get her started. No, she, we saw it on display a little bit in the first set. And she has another kill to her stat line right there. Again, Bowersock in the front row. The Lancer setters know we need to get the ball to her. Short hit, saved by the libero, Miller. Back over for Lincoln View. Now Crestview getting it blocked right at the net. Maya Etzler kind of thought, well, I'll just kind of free ball it over, and it was banged right back the Crestview side. Yeah, Kara Seaver, the 6'1 freshman. She leads this Lancer squad with 31 blocks. It's on display right there. Nicely done. Well, Gives a a net serve, the point though. The serve. Yep, got to get those serves over. Give yourself a chance. Point goes to the Lady Knights. Crestview up 18-14 here in set two. Good serve over. And there is Bowersock again from the left front. And she does a nice job of mixing it. She'll go down the line, she'll go cross court. Right there again, eight ball corner pocket for Bowersock. And that cuts the lead to three here in set two. Allie Miller, libero, serving for Lincoln View. 
And off the block on the nice hit that time by Callie Gregory. We saw it in set one. Callie Gregory had a big spike, a big kill to stem the momentum. And, Le and Crestview went on to win that first set. Let's see if that kill right there does the same here in set number two. Hetzler with the serve for Crestview and back over on the free ball by Elling. And this time, a hard kill by Callie Gregory. Yeah, again, Callie Gregory, a third-team All-Ohio selection last year, first-team Northwest Conference selection. As a setter, well, we're seeing what she can do from the outside. Emily Lickley coming in to be the setter at times for Crestview, puts it to Gregory right there, and she does what she does with it, puts it to the floor. And free ball back over by Lincoln View, the block. It goes off the double block, but the hit goes out of bounds. Another point, Crestview. Again, the first set, Callie Gregory had a big spike to get the momentum to the Crestview side. This time, she's got three in a row. We've talked about Lincoln View feeding Emma Bowersock. Right now, the Lady Knights are doing the same with Callie Gregory, the senior. This one hits short by Elling from the right front, and that goes into the net. 22 to 15, Crestview. Again, another point. Coach Evans has got to be thinking about using her second timeout. She's only used one thus far in set number two. Catches the break right there as Etzler puts it in the net. Opens the door a little bit for the Lady Lancers. Ellen goes out for Lincoln View and Kaylin Gerald is in. It's imperative that Lincoln View gets a couple points on this serve situation with Gerald doing the duties for Lincoln View. There's one. Cross-court hit is out of bounds by Haley McCoy. So Gerald with her second point of the night. Also in for Crestview is Ellie Klein, the libero. She does take the serve. Right back over. Nice play for Lincoln View. Crestview has it blocked at the net. Great block by Lincoln View right there. And they're going to say that Callie Gregory was underneath the net, stepped on the line. Yeah, underneath her. She may have made contact with it. Great idea, though, to go down the line across the net with that one. But, again, she can't get the point because she committed the penalty by getting across the line, as you said, Jeff. And then you see why Callie Gregory went, okay, I may have messed up last time, but this time it's off of Allie Miller on a kill. Yeah, she... Uh, she didn't go soft that time. Hit it hard. Again, Gregory leads Crestview in kills. She leads Crestview in assists. And they've gone to her in the second set here, and she has helped to extend the lead for her team. Kowicki with the serve, then back over by Lincoln View, although blocked by Crestview. That one's blocked at the net, but goes off of Hughes. And that's a point, Crestview, so we're ready for set. Number two with yeah. the last point. We've seen the big three for Crestview on display in Gregory, Figley, and Etzler. And right there, Figley, a carbon copy of what Gregory has been doing, gets the kill. Free ball back over, but out of bounds by Callie Gregory. So a point Lincoln View. 24-19, Crestview with a five-point lead. Great decision by Grace Brickner not to go after that one as it goes out of bounds. That's a tough call when you're at set point, but she let it go, and it worked in the Lancers' favor. And there's an ace serve a la the net by Bowersock. The jump serve from Bowersock works to perfection. She hits the top of the tape. It falls over. Crestview defenseless as it finds Wood. Crestview looking for the last point in this set, and they'll get it right there. Went off of Allie Miller, the libero, and into the net. 25-20, Crestview wins set number two, but although much, much better for Lincoln View. Yeah, exactly. As they go into their huddle here, Coach Evans is going to be able to say, all right, gang, first set, not so good. Second set, much, much better. We're right there, 25-20. Let's come out. Let's get a good start, set number three and put ourselves in position, put a little heat on these Lady Knights. You know, there's a lot of expect expectations with this Crestview squad, Jeff, and you put a little heat on them, you know, put that pressure on them, see how they handle that. 
But so far, after two sets, Crestview does lead 2-0. Yeah, on the Lottox scoreboard, it is 2-0. Crestview with the lead. We get ready for set three. Ohio Volleyball, more coming up on WOSN. We're pleased to announce new pricing for the WOSN streaming service. For only $8 per month, you can watch WOSN from anywhere at any time. Sign up today at app.wosn.tv. Also available on Roku and Apple TV. Along with Dave Bowen, I'm Jeff Oberholzer, along with our producer and camera operator, Kelsey Beimer. We're here at Crestview. Two sets to none, Crestview, but it's going to be interesting in this third set. Absolutely. You know, again, you've taken Crestview's best shot if you're a Lady Lancer. Now let's go and attack. When Emma Bowersock is in the front row, we're going to feed her and keep attacking. Crestview has not had an answer for her thus far. They come out. Nonverbals look great. Going to be aggressive. I can see it right now. Price with a serve, and the hit is out of bounds. By Etzler, 1-0 Lincoln View, just like they did the last game. Just a little too fine right there, Gregory to Etzler, as the ball goes helplessly out of bounds. And there's another point. So again, momentum on the side of Lincoln View right now, 2-0 in set number three. Ashlyn Price with her third point of the night. And the ball is knocked out of bounds by Allie Miller, went outside the antenna. Again, opening night, Northwest Conference action between these two clubs, Lincoln View and Crestview. Last year, Crestview came away with the league championship on the way to a 20-8 and eight overall season, a regional championship, a state Final Four appearance where they fell to eventual state champion, New Bremen a squad that Lincoln View played last night. Crestview played Lincoln View back on, or Crestview played New Dreamer back on August 24th, came away with a three to two victory. Lincoln View fell to the Cardinals last night. So again, league action, want to get that first one. And that's where we're at right now, Jeff. Ball, nice play by Bowersock to tip it right back over. And get the point. It's now four to one, Lincoln View. Yeah, Bowersock and Miller. They have made their presence known for this Lincoln View squad tonight. Had an outstanding match thus far. And there's Pumped another one by Bowersock. Yes. Bowersock with her teammate Tara Siever up there at the net, and it's five to one, Lincoln View. So Crestview's got some work to do. Service over by Bricker. And that time a careen off of Olibero Miller right up into the Raptors and could not be handled by Lincoln View. That's only the second point for Crestview here in set three. Yeah, give the kill to Kennedy Kreider. And again, just to finish up on that Northwest Conference talk, Crestview leads the Northwest Conference with 21 league championships. Lincoln View with a very respectable six championships as Casey Gregory's serve goes long to put that lead back up to four for the Lady Lancers. Back is Allie Miller, the libero to serve. And tipped over short and in. You know, if you're playing defense against Crestview, you have to prepare for the hard hit. You have to prepare for the, the kill coming at you. And then when they throw that change up, that soft one as Kennedy Kreider does right there, you just got to try and get to it. Not able to do so right there. Crestview gets the point. Maya Etzler with an ace serve, second of the night. Now it's six to four. Lincoln View by two here in set three. Lincoln View with the quick start in set number three, but Crestview trying to reestablish, cutting the lead to two right now. Bowersock will hit it long, out of bounds. Not particularly a good set for Bowersock on that one. Now it's six to five on the Lodox Jewelry scoreboard. Bowersock, the 5'9 junior, you're right. The set has to be where she can handle it. She's got hops, but again, 
When, when you're not 6'2", like Maya Etzler, things got to be a little more precise. And in that situation, she hit it long, and Crestview comes away with another point. Ties so now, it up. yeah, mm -hmm. that's four in a row now for Crestview. Six all here in set three. Crestview already leading two sets to none. Nice hard one that time by Bowersock on the double hit. Nicely done again. We've mentioned her name all night long. And again, this Lincoln View squad knows where their bread is buttered, Jeff. And it's with number 18, Emma Bowersock gets the kill right there. Serve by Elling is over for Lincoln View. And now, oh, an illegal hit. The libero leaving her feet. And that cannot be done in that situation. Point for Lincoln View. Gerald with the serve and the point. This one's hit into the net by Kreider. Now another point. Lincoln View. Another three-point lead here for the Lady Lancers. See if they can build off and get some distance between themselves and the Lady Knights here in set number three. Lincoln View with a set and getting it through the double block is Beth Hughes. Nicely done. Beth Hughes, she's third on this Lancer squad in kills. Had nine coming, or I'm sorry, 58 coming into this contest. She's a ninth grader. Does a nice job right there. Soft hit back over by Price and back over by Lincoln View and then back over by Crestview. Yeah, Good Callie, play. Yeah, Callie Gregory hits it over trying to find the empty spot. Again, Allie Miller, the libero, she recovers, but she hits it right at the top of the net where Haley McCoy does find wood for Crestview. Does what you want that middle hitter to do. Clean everything up around the middle of the net. And trying to hit into a double block that time is Ashlyn Price at the left front and could not get it through. So now it's 10-8. Yeah, Price hits it hard, but you got to get through McCoy and Callie Gregory. McCoy and Gregory, a name that has been said in Lady Sports for the last several years as there are four sisters, and three have graduated with the McCoy name, two have graduated with the Gregory name. They've been around for a long time, been great influences on this Crestview program. Now, Cole Wicke, beneficiary of the point last time on a double hit, and now this one's an ace. So now we're tied at 10. Again, Kowicki so consistent behind the serving line, Again, they can play it out of the Raptors, well, as long as it's on their side. Good volley between both teams, and then hitting it into the net is Bauer side. Haley McCoy, a wall at the net for Crestview, and with the Lady Knights coming back to take the lead, Coach Evans, she's gonna use a timeout. You're watching High School Volleyball on WOSN. Back here at Crestview, along with Dave Bowen, I'm Jeff Overholzer. Crestview ranked fifth under Tammy Gregory in her 18th season. She's assisted by Christy Bagley. And for the Lincoln View Lancers, Joan Evans in her 10th year, assisted by Megan Ryan. We've had some good volleyball here tonight, opening night of NWC conference play. That one is tipped over short and in there by Beth Hughes. Nicely done by Hughes to find the wood on the night side of the net. Again, as you said, Crestview ranked number five in Division Four. The Lancers had to go back to back with number two last night, New Bremen, and Crestview tonight. Another point for the Lancers. Now being considered an ace serve. Yep. So now it's 12 to 11 on the Lodex Jewelry scoreboard. Lincoln View is taking the lead here in set three. This one is out. Yeah, Josie Kowicki tried to get a piece of that and 
fortunately for Crestview, she, she just whizzed right it. by her. Yeah. <laughs> the whiff works in her favor as the ball goes out of bounds. It's deep. Crestview returns to action on Thursday against state ranked Lipsick, number five in the latest coaches poll. And a nice spike and score right there for the Lady Lancers. Ashlyn Price on the kill. So now it's 13-12, Lincoln View. It almost seems like from this point on, good kill off the block that time by Figley. Yeah, Figley from the middle position. We usually see her on the outside for Crestview, but she comes through in the middle. But Again, 13-13, this Lincoln View squad, they have consistently improved from set to set. Mm -hmm. And not that they haven't competed throughout the match, it's just, again, the buzzsaw in set number one, and then Crestview pulled away in the middle of set number two. But right now, Lincoln View ahead as we enter the middle of set number three. Nice kill that time by Etzler. Had the kill, and Lincoln View also in the net. So we're back at even, 14 to 14. Coach Evans coaching her girls up. Coach Gregory doing the mm -hmm. same. I think if you then stepping underneath the net for the violation for Lincoln View, that's Gerald. Coach Evans' nonverbals right there. Not disappointed, but just like, ugh, what's going to go wrong again here right now? We're right where we want to be. Let's not. Let it slip away. Let's let's force Crestview into some untimely errors instead of us doing the same. And right there, they're unable to return the serve. So Crestview up two now in the middle of set three. Nice right, serve for Figley. 16-14, Crestview. Lincoln View. Uh, what a play right there by Etzler, who got it over the first time. The second time found it on the far side for the good kill. Yep. As we said earlier, Etzler heading to Ashland to play volleyball a year from now. Next fall, loves this game. Shows her talents right there. Great oh, nice effort. save. But there's the situation where all the players come up to the net and then a wide open backside. Yeah, they're playing everything you can do defensively to keep that ball alive. But as a result, as you said, Jeff, everyone collapsed to it, tossed it up over the net. Maya Etzler found the open hole opposite. That's 18-14. Crestview with the lead here in set number three. And right now, Crestview leading two sets to none. 25-9 in the first set, 25-20 in the second set. We would uh, be amiss if we didn't say that in junior varsity play, Crestview won that one 25-19 and 25-17. These two programs, again, they have battled year in and year out in the sport of volleyball. And two veteran coaches, Tammy Gregory in year 18, Janan Evans in year 10, the two coaches with the most experience in the conference and Year after year, their programs reflect that consistency. Well, Lincoln View has played much, much better after that first set, but they're still trailing here in set three. Good play that time by Bowersock there off the block. There she is again. You're right. Give Bowersock the kill. She did that from the back row. So she is just now rotating into the front row. And when we've seen her at the net, she has been lethal. She has been outstanding. And that's what the Lancers are going to need from her right now. Down three in the latter stages of second to three. Figley checks out for Crestview. And in is Nevaeh Ross. Another quick set for Crestview. Gregory to Etzler, and Etzler pushes it over. It's hard to block that soft kill, if you will, Jeff. And Lincoln View unable to come up with it right there. Back to serve is Gregory. And hitting it long out of bounds is Bowersock. So Casey Gregory with a point. 
Again, I like the way Bowersock hits it hard. She's not intimidated by the block of Maya Etzler and Callie Gregory, but sails that one just long. And that one is long out of bounds, so point to Lincoln View. But you're talking about Bowersock that has to get the trajectory at only 5'9 at the net. Yeah, it's critical. Again, you can't teach height, but when you've got someone who can get off the floor like she can, you definitely want to put her in a position to be successful as much as possible, and that starts with a great set. Allie Miller drops one inside the back line for an ace for Lincoln View. On the Ludix Jewelry scoreboard, it's 20 to 17, Crestview, here in set three. See if they can free ball it back over, and they do. The libero does a good job. It's Miller back over by Crestview. Bower sock toward the back line too long. Again, a good volley, but again, Bower sock unable to get in the position, get her footwork down where she can put some muscle behind that one, and it does sail long softly. Crestview with the point. We, we mentioned Crestview plays Lipsick this Thursday in league action. Lincolnview comes right back against Ada. Hmm. Get into that meat grinder of the conference. Twenty-one to eighteen as Lincoln View. It's a kill. So back to serve this time is Caitlin Gerald. And that's into the net. The one thing I noticed now, it's Emily Lickley, but I noticed one thing that uh, Coach Gregory is doing. Now let's get some other players in where they can get the touch and the feel of this volleyball match. It may help them down the road. She has gone deep into her bench. Again, last year only one senior on the roster for Crestview, so a lot of these girls have experience and competition within the ranks can do nothing but make you better if you want to uh, accept the role in game night, but work to get better every day in practice. There's a spike and kill by Haley McCoy. So now it's 23 to 18, set three here at Crestview. Two schools that are really not that far away. Not that far away at all, seven, seven eight miles. And we talked about that depth with Crestview, and that's something Coach Evans is going to definitely have if she doesn't feel like she has it now with no seniors on the roster and this team is really good now she's got she's going to have a lot of competition within the ranks heading into next season for sure they're going to say close to match point but bower sock said uh no not yet bower sock with a kill and we'll go back to serve on the ludix jewelry scoreboard 24 19 Crestview, and that's served in the net, and that is it. The final, Crestview wins in three sets, 25-9, 25-20, and 25-19. But, you know, a lot on the horizon for both these schools. You've got uh, Lincoln View now goes to six and four, their first conference matchup. Crestview goes to six and one. Crestview getting that all-important first win on, you know, first league win. It's critical if you want to put yourself in position to win the league. You got to come out of the gates. And that's what we saw and we've talked about it during the course of the night. Lincoln View struggled in set number one, didn't come out of the gates strong, but boy, a little bit of coaching from Coach Evans and her staff. They worked harder as the match went on, competed, but just not able to get over that hump. Crestview does what a team with a lot of high expectations, a couple of solid leading seniors in Callie Gregory and Maya Etzer. They do what they should do in this situation. They take Lincoln View's best shot in sets two and three and still come away with the wins to take the match three to zero. Yeah, and you're talking about that this tonight, yes, is a, is a matchup. But there is more to come. The schedule is going to get really grinding for both these teams. Absolutely. When you're in league play every night out, you got to give your best shot. 
these two programs have been solid and what would you rather do than take off take out one of the top two programs in the league on any given night if you're another league school because you're trying to put yourself up to that next level so you got to come out ready to play every night if you're Lincoln View and Crestview Crestview undefeated in the league last year they start on the right foot tonight one and in the league now six and one overall and as you said Lincoln View six and four overall, 0 and one. They both go back into league action on Thursday night. Well, special thanks uh, to the two coaches, uh, Evans and Gregory, of uh, Lincoln View and Crestview. Talked to them before the matchup. They're very, very helpful in uh, their information. Special thanks also to athletic director uh, Austin Fleming here at Crestview. And Dave Bowen, you made me sound great tonight. I appreciate it. Hey. Pleasure working with you, Jeff. Love being your wingman. And anytime <laughs> we can do a match together, I you know what I was thinking it. about. You no, know, Top Gun, where there he says you, you can be my wingman Absolutely. anytime. Absolutely. <laughs> All right. Again, Crestview wins in three sets: 25-9, 25-20, 25-19. Special thanks also to producer and camera operator Kelsey Beimer, and also to editor and sports director Nick Fraley. That's the Northwest Conference opening night of Ohio Volleyball here at Crestview. Crestview wins three sets to none. Thanks very much for watching Ohio Volleyball here on WOSN. Good night.